They believe as many as 50 million Christians perish during those thousands of years. Yeah. Under the hands of Christians. Yes. That's another reason why. That's another reason why other groups will not be Christians because they know the bloody heritage right. of the Christian church. Right. So, I say it again. so they, they persecuted the ones. See, here's the thing. The devil can't beat Jesus. So he goes after Jesus' children. Amen. Who Jesus' children? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. The devil can't, the devil can't beat you. So he go after your kids. Somebody know what I'm talking about. Amen. He can't mess with you. But I tell you what he'll do. He'll turn your children like upside down. Amen. Then he got your attention. So I got a witness in here. Yeah. He can't mess with you because of your relationship with Jesus Christ. But your children don't have that kind of relationship. So he wears them out. Then he gets your attention again. Somebody say amen. Oh, I know I said something in. His eyes lit up in this room. And this is the same thing. He couldn't beat, the, he couldn't beat Jesus, so he jumped over the church. His people. Use a prophetic rule on one prophetic day equals one literal year. How was this person? How long was this persecution to last? One thousand two hundred years of just just crazy, underhanded and overhanded ways of destruction. What did what did the church do when the persecution began? Look at this. And the woman, the woman represents what? Church. The church fled into the wilderness. The church could not worship openly. It had to worship in the desert. That's right. It had to worship where? In the field. It had to worship in a cave. It had to go in the bottom of sewers, what they used to call catacombs. That's right. right. You could not serve the Lord openly. Mm -hmm. That's why I get a little mad. That's the tough. So I get a little mad sometimes when people come to church and won't bring their Bible. Because right. it was a day in which if you had a Bible, it was a death sentence. Mm -hmm. Somebody say amen. amen. Now, you can carry two Bibles. You carry five Bibles. It don't mean that no more. Amen? amen. But I want to let you know, it's all right to have five Bibles, but you need to crack one of them open. Amen. 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 God's remnant our last day church. So you see where we are. We're coming up to now. Amen. Let me ask you a question. This is real simple. Are we in the last days? Yes. Why do you say we in the last day? Because we see the signs of good living in the oh, We yes. are in the very toenails of time. Oh yes. Oh, yes. Jesus could come any minute, any hour, oh, yes. any second. Oh yes. Amen. I believe that. Amen. Amen. People Amen. in Birmingham are getting mean as I don't know what. Somebody say amen. amen. You gotta watch who you hump your horn at. Amen. Everybody's packing. Mm. Yeah, everybody's packing. Yes. That's how come the, 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 the rate is going up. That's why yes. the murder rate is going up. We ain't talking it out no more. We ain't putting up no fist no more. We, listen, I'm not going to play with you. I'm going to kill you. Come on now. That's who we are. Mm -hmm. And it's going to get worse. That's Amen. right. Amen. 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 God's rhythm of the last day church. Mm. Look at the symbols. The dragon is who? The yeah. devil. The woman is the what? The church. church. The remnant is the last day or end time church. The co commandments are the decalogue, the Ten Commandments. Mm -hmm. The testimony of Jesus, we're going to talk about it, is the gift of prophecy. We're going to talk about that even some more tonight. Let's, now let's fill in the verse. And the devil was what? The fury, yeah. which is bad, with the true church. And went to fight against God's church. In the what? Very last day. the Ten Commandments and have the gift of prophecy. Let me tell you this. We do not have to ask you if we're living in the last day. The book of Daniel gives us signs. Oh, yes. Right? Oh, yes. It gives us two warnings. Yes. One is we will go to and fro. Mm -hmm. Somebody say amen. Amen. All right. amen. Let's see if that was true. Do you realize that anywhere that Noah, Adam, and Eve wanted to go, they had to either ride a donkey or they had to walk. You come over up to Noah, he rode a donkey or he had to walk. Come on up to Solomon and Absalom. We know Absalom was on a donkey or something when he got his head caught in the tree. Amen. 
So he needed a wall around a dungeon. Let's do this. Let's come up to the New Testament. Let's come up to Jesus. Jesus, if he wanted to go anywhere, he had a wall around a cotton picking donkey. Jesus, the King of Kings and Lord of Lords. Isn't that amazing? You had to come all the way up into about the 1700s and 1800s when you got the Eli Whitney and the cotton gin and the industrial revolution and the cars that started to be put on the market, that things changed. That's right. And therefore, now, in this country, right now, I can eat breakfast in Birmingham. All right. Get on a plane. And by the time I get to, by the time I get to Los Angeles, I can eat lunch. Catch another plane six or seven hours later and be eating dinner in London. (laughs) And that's why now we cannot even say the sky is the limit. Because man is going beyond the sky. You used to say that. But it's no longer true. So we know that that proves that we have reached the last day. But it's another one. That knowledge shall increase. Somebody say amen. I got a new phone in my pocket. No, it's not. As soon as I took it out of the box, it was already a dinosaur. Don't y'all laugh. Don't y'all laugh. What you got in your pocket is a dinosaur. They've already created something better. Amen. Already. Somebody say amen. amen. I got my phone. I didn't even know how to cut the thing on. <laughs> Be which phone is this? <laughs> but then all I got to do is hand it to a four-year-old. Come on now. <laughs> and that thing was working. Somebody say amen. 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 Knowledge has increased. Oh, yes. We know that. In medicine, in science, everything has increased. Yes, we're truly living in the last days and God has defined it and so. What you can do is the God last day really church a mission. You keep the commandments and have a gift of prophecy. We're going to zoom in on that. Three special messages. Jesus assigned us three great points of proclaiming to all the world an everlasting gospel in these last days. What are these three great points? The hour of God's judgment is what? Come. I already told you that the last day church will preach that the judgment is already here. That's right. Not looking for a judgment at the end of the world, but living like the judgment is happening right now. And it is. Amen. Worship him which made heaven and earth. Babylon is fallen. We told you that churches are fallen. Mm-hmm. They can't even lift up their block far as it relates to character. The dope house is right next to the church. Mm-hmm. That was ugly. That was ugly. But it's the truth, so help me, Jesus. <laughs> Beware the beast of this image that is marked. What other key point for God to church for the last day stress? And they overcame by the blood. Let me, don't you get it twist, twisted, my brothers and sisters. It's not about a sound. Man. It's not about the state of the day. It's not about time pain. Yeah. It's about Jesus. Amen. Amen. See, some people want to get it twisted. Oh, that church is just about not even Paul. <laughs> no, it's not about, no, not, no, no. Your love for Jesus will, not, will tell you don't eat anything unclean. Come on now. Amen. Amen. Let's, get it, let's get it right. Amen. Amen. As a matter of fact, if you don't love Jesus, you have an issue with anything that has to be done in the church. Come on now. Okay, I'm ready to do this. I'm ready to identify God's church. Y'all ready? Amen. What I did was I came in here early and I wrote down these churches. Somebody say amen. 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 You didn't get it, but uh, you can get it later on. If 
you, you thought I was gonna come in here right off for the thousand. What I say, I go down forty thousand to the same day. I would be here four days trying to write that down. This is their time. This is the crowd. We get it this time. Y'all got it now. Amen. Amen. Everybody see that? Amen. Amen. Here we go. Here we go. Um, let, I need somebody who's good with math uh, to help me out. Can, are you decently good? Nah, nah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I want to I wanna get uh, my partner up there, but we don't have a bad time. Uh, who's, who's decently? It, it ain't no hard math. What you mean? You, you, uh, no, no, no. I'm going to need somebody to literally stand up here and subtract. <laughs> so I said, don't you do that, don't be provided. I'm, I'm not gonna tell you who it was, amen? I'm gonna try to do it. You can you can really do this. You can help me out. Come on, come on. You don't need to get that this right here. You can do it. It's not it's not that deep. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna we're gonna matter of fact, we're gonna subtract. Because I told you if that church doesn't teach what the Bible says, we're gonna subtract that church off. So you know we're going to subtract it from the 40,000. Amen. Y'all better Amen. hold on. You better be praying. You better pray that your church ain't in there because I'm going to drop it like it's hot. Somebody say it. <laughs> no. It's going to go. If it's not teaching what the Bible is teaching, it's going to be for us to stay up there. <laughs> According to Revelation 12 and 14, the following seven great points. This is where it's found in Revelation 12, 13, 12 and 14. The following seven great points identify God's church. The church of a day into which he's calling his people. His people are in other churches. But he's calling them from now, those churches just like me. He called me from the Methodist church. Amen. Right. Amen. Somebody right. say amen. amen. He called somebody else in here from the Catholic church. That's right. Right here, Pastor Thompson. He called somebody from the Baptist church. Amen. Yeah, they, oh, that's almost everybody there. <laughs> Where's my wife at? That's you. She wasn't even a Christian. He called you from unchristian church. Amen. She was a Muslim. Amen. And guess what got her? The health message. Amen. She didn't know that anybody else didn't eat poor. She didn't know you could be a Christian and didn't eat poor. Amen. And that did it for her. <laughs> Somebody say amen. Amen. And uh, that's the church of God in Christ. Jehovah Witness. I know people who used to be Jehovah Witness. I know people who used to be Mormon. It don't matter. God calls you yes. out into the true church. Amen. Amen. Okay, Amen. Here we go. It will appear after the wilderness, the dark ages, the spirits, that is after 1798, minus two. We're going to take two of them off. So you know at least 39,998. All right. Yeah, 39,998, and put a, and put a mark through 40,000. There you go. So I took out two churches. You want to know who the two churches are? One is the Jehovah Witness Church. Amen. Because that church was here before the uh, uh, it was here before the time that we said that it begins the last days. Amen. And I don't have to take it off for that reason anyway. <laughs> I can take it off because of their belief in who Jesus Christ is. That's right. Amen. Amen. We believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. Oh, yeah. Amen. They do believe that. That's right. Amen. I can take it off for other reasons. Also, the foolishness of our blood transfusion. Oh, yes. He was sitting up dying or have to go through a lawsuit in order to get blood to save a person's life. I can take them off for that reason. And there's about another 20, 30 things I can take them off. But I'm not going to, again, now, I'm not talking about people. That's Amen. right. Amen. Don't leave out of here like that. Right. Amen. I'm only talking about what the institution believes. That's right. Amen. And also, Amen. the other one is the Catholic Church. The Catholic Church was here 1,000 years before there was a Baptist church. That's right. So in no way it could be in this, this uh, Dark Ages experience. It will hold the same truths as the apostles. Teach what the, the apostles taught. Let, let me share this with you. You remember that the Bible says that, that uh, we, we're talking about the last day church. We use the word remnant. Right. Remnant is the last piece. Yes, Amen. Right. That's right. But the only way it can be the remnant, it must look like the first piece. Yes, that's right. Amen. Amen. See, you got a ring. If you're winning, made ten flags out of red, white, and blue material, 
then you need you, but you really need to make 12. And you go back and you get green and blue. That is not the rhythm. That's right. Not, not the flag material. Somebody yes. say amen. You got to go back and get the same identical. Yes. I'm going to tell you, colors vary. It's got to be the same material. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Somebody need to shout at Oh, yeah. yeah. So what that means is God's church now should look like the original church. That's Amen. Right. Amen. Amen. All right. So first of all, there's an issue there. What an original church? It doesn't matter. It could be the church of Adam and Eve. That's the, some people say that's the original church. All right. Or it could be the church that Jesus started. He says, upon this rock. Oh, yeah. Right. Let me show you. Look at my hands. Upon this rock. People say it's Peter. Jesus would have to do like this. Upon this rock. No, he says, upon this rock. That's right. Amen. I build my church. Yes. And the gates of hell should not prevail against it. Peter's name is a rolling stone. Yes. Amen. Come on now. But Jesus is a mighty brick and rock. Somebody Amen. say, oh, yes. Amen. So it doesn't matter because the church of Jesus Christ looks like the church of Adam and Eve. Amen. And it looks like the church of Noah. It looks like the church of Moses. It looks like the church of David. All those churches look the same. That's Amen. Right. So God's church in the last days will look just like this. Amen. I don't want to take that off yet. Yeah. Somebody said, well, we're going to be here all day. No, we're not. <laughs> we're going to get out here early tonight. Amen. Because yeah. <laughs> we're going to drop some churches off here like a bad hat. Right. <laughs> it will keep, here we go, here we go. It will keep the Ten Commandments, including the fourth day, seven day Sabbath. Oh, right. I want you to drop off 39,948. <laughs> <laughs> What does that mean? Is the church is not keeping the Bible Sabbath, you already incorrect. If you're not going on a church day that Jesus went to church on, according to Luke chapter 4 and 4, verse 16, you already on base. How many we got left? Oh, Lord, have mercy. Now, let me share something with you. Somebody said, so there's 50 churches. Let me share something with you. That you you gotta you gotta deal with this. There are, because it said the seven day Sabbath, let me emphasize that. There are other churches right. who have realized that Saturday is a Sabbath. That's right, amen. Amen. Right. amen. Yeah. You think yeah. it's uh, this church or not? No, it's at least 50 churches. All right. Amen. One of them is the first seven day Baptist. That's right. Which is the, law, what, the second largest of. Uh, Commandment or Sabbath keeping church in the world. That's right. Guess what? They're Baptists. Yeah. All right. So you can't talk about I'm a Baptist and I'm gonna die Baptist. <laughs> you can't do that. Because some people say, you know what? I'm a Baptist, but I'm gonna be a I'm gonna be a Sabbath keeper because that's what the Bible says. Amen. Amen. You got to deal with it. Matter of fact, you have churches. I know one in Louisville in which I'm not prescribing to this, but in Louisville, they're, they're, they're having church on Saturday and Sunday because the preacher says, I know I got it. Church on Saturday. Hmm. I just baptized a first day preacher. Yeah. He says, I don't care what I have been taught. Matter of fact, he is one of the most educated people in Birmingham. He has a right. double PhD. Right. And pastor of church. He says, you know what? I'm absolutely wrong for going to church on Sunday. Yeah. Hmm. And now he's a part of this church. Amen. Yeah. It's called out. Amen. 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 That's Church of God, Sabbath Keepers in Ohio, Middle Ohio, Cleveland, up in that area, and there are other denominations who know and understand, even though I'm this denomination, I'm supposed to go to church on the day that Jesus went to church on. Amen. That's right. You got Amen. To deal with that. Amen. You got to deal with that. Mm -hmm. Other people haven't found that out. Amen. Amen. Here we go. Let's, let's keep on going because I got seven points. He will have the gift of prophecy. Drop that down. <laughs> <laughs> so even though they're com some of them are commandment keepers, and even though they believe in the fourth commandment, they don't believe in the gift of prophecy. That's right. Yeah. And what the gift of prophecy is, that is the belief that God can use a man or a woman to speak through them. That's amen. right. Prophetically. That's amen. right. Somebody say amen. 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 Somebody said, well, 
That don't seem like that's a problem. Yes, it is a problem. Yeah, because pro is. prophecy, the, the prophets, got a, they have a bad name right now. That's right. That's right. And I'll tell you why. When God used a prophet, ordinarily, it's a prophet serves the church. That's Amen. right. It doesn't serve, it's not the CNN, CNN of the world. That's right. It's the CNN of the church. Amen. So God used, he speaks to the prophet yes. to get the church information. Amen. And a lot of people don't believe that. Mm -hmm. Because prophets have, and prophetess have abused that. Oh, yeah. When you look at prophets, you will need to know something that God very rarely used more than one or two prophets at one given time. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's true. Well, let me deal with this. In Atlanta, you got about fifteen hundred prophets. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about one city. In Birmingham, you got hundred. Some of y'all know prophet. She called herself prophet such and such. Mm -hmm. It's been abused. Mm -hmm. Somebody say it. Mm -hmm. All right. So we got down to one, but I ain't done yet. It will preach the final end time three point message. That would have took another 30, 40 people off. They, most people believe, most churches believe that the, the judgment is at the end of the world. Mm -hmm. But God's church says, no, you better be living right every day. Amen. Amen. <laughs> On the end of the world, you'll hear, you, I never knew you. Because you didn't live for me. Amen. Amen. It will be a worldwide missionary church to empty. If God has a church, wouldn't you think that church would be everywhere? Amen. Why would it only be in Prince <laughs> Why would it only be found in Easley? Why would it only be found in Springfield? Because if it's the truth, everybody needs to hear it. Amen. Let me do this. Let me do this. Let me do this. How many of you all have heard of Price Chopper? Raise your hand. I see one hand. I don't know how you heard about it, but I, I just accept that you did. How many of you all have heard Piggly the Week? I know Y'all know about Mr. Piggly, so that is <laughs> How many of you all have heard of, um, uh, hold on, don't say that, oh, Bruno? Yeah. How many have heard of Food Fair? Yeah. Yeah. How many have heard of National? Uh-oh. Uh-huh. National. You know why my wife knows about National? That's in St. Louis. It's, it's, how many of you heard of A&P? Yeah. Oh. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. How many of you heard of Win dixie uh -huh. Yeah. But I'm, I'm trying to go somewhere here. If you go to other places in the country, if you tell them that you shop at Piggly Wiggly, they'll laugh you out there skull. <laughs> they say you're crazy. <laughs> because they don't have that where they are. That's right, they man. National is not here, it's somewhere else. That's right. Kroger, how many of you? Yeah. Now Kroger used to be here. Yeah. yeah. Some y'all okay. Some y'all some y'all uh, older people, uh, you know, kind of real old people. <laughs> Y'all know about it. <laughs> but if you haven't left outside of, of Birmingham, if you never go outside of Birmingham, you don't know nothing about the Kroger. Right. And go to Huntsville and on up north, uh, you know. So, so my point is this: stores are local. That's right. right. And when you hit a store, you think it's everywhere, mm -hmm. but it's only local. That's right. When Dixie is not on the West Coast. That's right. Amen. Amen. Kroger is only certain places. Publix is just coming up this way. It used to be only in Florida. Yeah. So my point is, <clears throat> that's the way churches are. They're local. But if God has a church, it would be everywhere. Like a Walmart. <laughs> If you go to Japan, there's a Walmart there. You go to China, there's a Walmart there. Wherever you go, there's a Walmart there. Yeah. Because it represents God's church. Do you understand that? Yeah. If, it's the, if you got the truth, how can you have it over there on the corner of, a, of 17th Street and Avenue W? 
How did the other people in the world hear the truth? Somebody say amen. amen. That's like how we have to be careful. Most churches start up because of division. Y'all don't want to hear this. Starts up because of division, brother Jay, the other chain. First, second Baptist came from first Baptist. Primitive Baptist say, y'all getting too liberal. We want to, we want to, we want to wind this back in. Right. Somebody say amen. amen. So each one goes its different place, but it's not everywhere. Right. Then now there's a rage of new churches, ministries, uh, all kind of fellowships that don't want to say they're Baptist or Methodist or whatever, uh, independent and all these non-denominational. But you're still a denomination right. that only serves a little bitty area. But there's a church. I might as well go ahead and say it now. It's the Seventh Day Adventist Church. Amen. The Seventh Day Adventist Church is found almost everywhere in the world. Amen. Amen. If you go to Africa, Amen. we're there in the millions. Yeah. You go to the Philippines in the millions. Yeah. You go to the most secular country in the world, Japan. There's a Seventh Day Adventist yeah. Church there. You go to China, we're there. Listen, other churches like Baptist, you won't find them in the Middle East. But there are seven day Adventist churches in the Middle East. Amen. In Afghanistan. Amen. In all those places, that is a represent, because the people there must hear the truth too. That's Amen. Right. Breaking through the barriers of Muslims. Right. Somebody say Amen. 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 Got down to the last. There, last but not least, it will teach salvation through Jesus Christ. Amen. Don't get it twisted. Don't get it twisted. The number one doctrine. Oh, I gotta help somebody. I gotta help a seven-day Adventist tonight. Amen. The number one doctrine in the seven-day Adventist church is Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. So don't you forget it. Amen. Amen. Don't you forget it. Because when you love him with all oh, yes. your heart, mind, oh, yes. and soul, all this other stuff will be easy. That's right. Amen. Amen. But if you don't love him, it's hard to give God some time. Come on Amen. now. It's hard to obey God, keep a Sabbath. It's hard to do these other things. But if you put the horse in front of the car, which is Jesus, then your yes. movie will be so much better. Amen. Amen. Uh, Jesus hands you these seven specifications and says, go find my church. What does he promise when you see? You'll find see, you'll find. Some of you all are looking. Some of you didn't even dare to look before, but now God is working on your heart. You will not stop until you find this thing. Mm -hmm. How many church organizations in the world? 57 points. That's only one. Once one recognizes God's true church, is it necessary to become a member? And the Lord added to the church daily such as should be saved. Yes. 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 And guess what? I told you out here, we could have a baptism this week of 100 people. All I have to do is preach flowery sweet message. Amen. Amen. But I'm sorry. Right. You need to go somewhere else. Amen. We're going to keep the standard way high. Amen. Amen. In order to get up in here, Amen. you're going to have to climb real high. Yes, sir. Because I'm going to tell you, it's not about getting into the church. It's about getting into the kingdom. Amen. 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 Not only getting in there, but staying in there. That's Amen. right. Amen. If you go somewhere, Come in, do it, and then the next day, a week later, you're gone. Because mm -hmm. yeah. there's no substance. Wow. That's right. No. It's tough, but I want to let you know God will give you strength. Amen. Amen. We all call it one body. The body is the church. We enter the church by baptism. That's why we have a baptism. That's why we have over 20 precious souls now that are ready to say, I'm going to get clean. Amen. I'm going to get washed away all my sin. I ain't got to kind of figure out what one I did and which one I did and which one I did. When I get in the water, all of them are washed away. Amen. Amen. And then once you come out, you be careful every time you commit a sin. Yes. Don't get, don't go back like a pig and jump back in the mud. Amen. Somebody say amen. Amen. 
But if you fall in the mud, get up and go immediately back. Don't let your record look the way it looks tonight. Amen. Revelation pictures Jesus walking among his churches. He still walks among the churches today, calling his people. Come out, come out. He speaks to you as he speaks to you and calls you into his blessed ark of safety for these last days. Will you respond to his loving call? You are very, very precious to him. On this night, on this last night, will you 